hope this video gives you a detailed understanding of role-based pricing and catalog mode plugin. The plugin used here is the LX Wu Commerce Catalog Mode, Wholesale and Role-Based Pricing Plugin. With this plugin, you can achieve catalog mode, wholesale pricing, and role-based pricing in your WooCommerce store. Here are some of the features of the plugin, offer role-based pricing, discounts and sales tax for WooCommerce products, offer special pricing and discounts based on WooCommerce product categories, offer WooCommerce wholesale pricing and discounts, offer WooCommerce customer-specific discounts, switch your WooCommerce store into catalog mode by hiding WooCommerce's, add to cart, button and price, customize WooCommerce, add to cart, button or replace with, request a quote, action, and, create and remove custom WordPress user roles. Let's take a look at how we can begin to use the plugin. Firstly install the LX WooCommerce Catalog Mode, Wholesale and Role Based Pricing plugin on your WooCommerce store. Learn more about installing and activating the LX plugins from the link in the description. Once the plugin is installed, you can access the plugin settings, or you can see role based pricing under the WooCommerce menu also. In the plugin settings, you can see the following five subsections Role based settings, unregistered user tax options, manage user roles, and the license section. The license section is used to enter the API license key obtained from L extensions for the plugin. You can click here and log in to the L extensions My Account page to obtain the API keys. The role-based settings consists of user role-specific settings and price adjustment settings. Unregistered settings are settings meant for your guest users or unregistered users. Tax option settings are meant for setting the tax options for the user roles on your store. And then the manage user role section is to manage user roles by adding or removing WordPress user roles. Apart from these, there is a catalog mode setting, which is seen along with the various tabs in WordPress here. It provides you with settings that can help you make the store look like a catalog, irrespective of any user role. To know more about catalog mode, take a look into the link in the description. Now, let us take a look at the role-based settings. The settings here will help you in removing or customizing the Add to Cart button on your store page, hiding the product price as well as hiding the cart and checkout page especially based on user roles. Suppose you want to set your store specifically for each user role, then you can make use of these individual user role based settings. Here you can remove the add to cart button for specific users in both shop page and product pages per your choice. Also, you can even modify or even customize the placeholder text in the add to cart button. Suppose you want to change the button text on the individual product pages, then you can provide a text here. And for changing the button text in the shop page, you can provide the text here. If you wish to redirect your customers to another page or a custom form, then you can provide the link here. The link will redirect the customers to another page upon clicking the button. Ensure you provide a corresponding text in the above boxes to help the customer understand. For example, if you want the customer to provide some details before purchasing, provide a link to the form page from the button. The next setting is to hide the product regular price for specific user roles. You can enter the user roles here, for whom you want to hide the regular price. If you wish to hide the price then provide the user roles for which you want to hide the price here. Once you select a user role, a placeholder text option appears, where you can specify the replacement text for the same. To hide the cart and checkout pages for specific users, enter the user roles here. Individual Product Adjustment if you want to configure price adjustment at the product level, select the desired user role from the drop-down list in this setting. Individual product discount on users, as you can add the user roles in individual product adjustment, you can enter specific users by adding their email IDs. Once this setting is saved, you can notice the role-based pricing settings appear in every individual product setting under product data meta box for the specified user role mentioned here. The rest users will not be able to do the same at the product level. The price adjustments, discount and markup settings price adjustment on setting, you can apply the discount or markup on either sale price, or both regular price and sale price. Once you choose the option here, you can set the price adjustments here in the table. 
The table consists of the following columns. User role, users, categories, price adjustments in amount and percentage, and the enable option as well as the remove option. In the table, you can add user roles and create rules as per your business need. This table helps in setting role-based pricing adjustments. In each rule, you can select the user roles, specific users by selecting their email IDs and the categories in which you need to apply the discount from the drop-down lists. And enter the fixed amount or a percentage to be adjusted from the product prices. You can enable the rules before saving it. And you can remove rules as and when needed. You can adjust prices by providing a discount on actual price, or increase the price by a specific amount markup. To offer a discount, enter a value in the price adjustment field and then select the option as D. And for markup, select the option as M. You can mention the value in the amount and percentage for each user role, as required. After the discount is applied, if the price of the product is less than zero, then the regular price or the role-based price of the product is displayed for sale by default. The next setting is specifically for unregistered users. In this section, you can remove the Add to Cart button, customize the Add to Cart button, hide the product price, or hide the product completely for guest users and unregistered users. You can set this in the similar way as you set for registered users and save the same. Next is the tax settings using the plugin. WooCommerce has certain tax option. Apart from this, if you want to apply role-based tax settings you can use the plugin for the same. In these settings, you can assign tax classes based on user role. Set custom tax display setting and suffix text. Tick the checkbox to enable role-based tax options and the tax options table appears once done. You can select the desired tax class with respect to the user role. You can keep the default option, to apply the WooCommerce default tax class. You can drag and drop the hamburger icon on the extreme left of each user role to set the priority of the user role. Likewise, for each user role, you can customize tax display options as well. You can keep the default value to apply the WooCommerce tax display option. The available options are as shown here. Read more about how to configure tax options for user roles from the link in the description. Next is specifying price suffix. You can specify a general price suffix text, or set custom ones based on user roles using these settings. There are three options here, none, general and role specific. In the case of generic, the price suffix text applies for all user roles. Once you select this option, a suffix text option appears, where you can enter the desired text. For role specific as the name suggests, allows you to set custom price suffix text based on user roles. Here as you can see for unregistered users the tax settings are shown as prices inclusive of tax. The next important setting is to manage user roles. If the default user roles do not suit your requirement, the plugin allows you to create custom user roles for your WooCommerce store. These user roles are limited to the plugin itself, and cannot be used for other WordPress user functionalities. To create a custom user role, first, enter the role name here, then provide a description for the role you want to create and then click on Save Role button. Once saved, the role will be added to the other user roles with respect to the plugin. If you want to modify or delete any user role, all you need to do is just go to Modify User Role. Here if you want to modify then click on the icon here, where you can edit the description of the user role. If you want to delete the user role, select the checkbox and then click on delete roles. Hence these are the basic settings in the plugin. Now, let us see how you can set a WooCommerce product price based on user role. For demonstration purposes, consider an example, where the price of the product is $30, let us apply role-based product pricing for the wholesaler user role, and offer the same product for $25 to them. To do this, first, go to the role-based pricing tab. In here you can see the individual product adjustment option, select the wholesaler user role, and save the settings. Now moving to the individual product settings. In the role-based price section under the product data meta box, you can see an option to set product prices for wholesalers. Enter the new product price for wholesalers at $25 in the given text field. So, when a wholesaler logs into your store, 
they can see the custom price for the product like shown here. Now let us take a look at how to set up WooCommerce role-based price adjustment at the product level. Using the plugin you can easily configure the role-based price adjustment at the product level. For this go to the individual product page. And then, in the product data meta box, you can see a new tab named role-based settings. In this section, you can configure how the product will be accessible to different users. You can also configure role-based pricing for the respective product here. To put it in another way, these settings will help you set price adjustments of an individual product concerning user roles and not price adjustments for individual user roles. For example, consider two products of category clothing, Ninja Silhouette and Patient Ninja priced at $20 and $30 respectively. Let us set a price adjustment markup of $5 for wholesaler and offer a product level discount of $10 for a product, Patient Ninja. To do this, first, move to the role-based setting tab in the main plugin settings. In the price adjustment table, enter the price adjustment amount value of 5 and select option M for markup for wholesale buyers. Remember to tick the enable checkbox for the respective user role. When a wholesale buyer logs into your store, the updated product price will be seen as set in the settings. Next, move to the role-based settings section in the product level settings of the product, Patient Ninja. For wholesalers, enter a price adjustment amount value as $10 and select option D for discount and tick the respective checkbox to enable the settings for the wholesale buyers. Tip. Remember, to get a list of user roles in this section, you have to select them in the individual product adjustments setting in the main plugin settings. Now let us take a look at how to set up WooCommerce role-based pricing for product variations. You can configure role-based pricing at a product variation level as well. This means the price of each variation can differ depending on user roles. To do this, head to role-based pricing settings in the plugin. Select desired user roles from the individual product adjustment setting. This setting is important to enable product level adjustments. The settings are divided into three sections, unregistered users settings. In this section, you can remove add to cart button, customize the add to cart button, hide product price, or hide the product completely for guest users. Registered users settings. This section will help you to remove add to cart button, Customize the Add to Cart button, Hide Product Price, or Hide the Product for different user roles. To do this, select Desired User Roles in respective settings. Price Adjustment Settings For this setting, you need first select User Roles in the Individual Product Adjustment option under the Role-Based Settings tab. Next, you can tick the checkbox to enable Individual Product Price Adjustment. These settings are pretty similar to the Price Adjustment table of Role-Based Pricing setting. The only difference is that, in the former, the price adjustment is applied to the specified product, whereas the latter applies to all products of your store. For example, let us configure our variable product, Wu T-Shirt, for shopkeeper with role-based variation prices. In the product edit settings, go to individual variation settings in the role-based price setting, enter the desired amount for the shopkeeper. When shopkeeper logs into the store, they can see the updated price for each variation. Now let's see how to set up WooCommerce customer-specific pricing and discounts. Offer special discounts to individual customers of your WooCommerce store by entering their names in, users, and set up a percentage of discount or price adjustment exclusively for them. Here, in the Price Adjustment section, you can also apply the offer to multiple user roles as well as individual customers together. Here, the customer will get a discount of 15% on clothing if he or she logs in as administrator or author of your store. Similarly, the user, customer, will get the discount even if he or she belongs to some other user roles. Yet another option available is setting WooCommerce category-specific pricing. You can apply discounts for particular users through different user roles on the selected categories using this feature. You can simply select the categories from the drop-down menu in the price adjustment section for applying a specific percentage of discount or a fixed price adjustment for the particular user roles. In this scenario, the customer will get a 10% discount for the products that come under clothing, hoodies, and posters, if he or she logs in as a vendor, or as the individual user using his or her username and password to your WooCommerce store. 
Hence this is how you can set role-based pricing for your WooCommerce store, using the LX WooCommerce Catalog Mode, Wholesale and Role-Based Pricing plugin. Learn more about the plugin and the advanced features offered, from the link in the description. Watch out for recent updates here. Thank you for watching. Go subscribe to our YouTube channel and social media channels.